So in a previous video, I demonstrated how to use the Shopify API to create a webhook and send those webhooks to your local development environment by generating a webhook URL that tunnels all of Shopify's webhook requests to your local environment. I have provided a link to that video in the description as a reference. But in this video, we're going to be demonstrating how to verify that our webhooks are indeed coming from Shopify. Shopify provides a header, the X Shopify HMARC SHA256 header with a signature for us to verify that our webhooks are indeed originating from Shopify. So in this video, we're going to be looking at how to implement the verification in code. So back to VS code, just going to go to my server.js and here in server.js, I have defined a couple of variables, the signature header name, which is Shopify HMARC SHA256, the algorithm, which is SHA256, and the secret. This is the secret key that we need to verify our webhooks. And if we scroll down, we have the code that validates that the webhook is indeed coming from Shopify. But this code is currently commented out. That is why we are currently successfully receiving our webhooks without any authentication check. So let's uncomment this code and see what happens. Just going to move the comment, save. Then to effect the changes, I'm going to go to where my server is running and restart the server so that the changes kick in. Good. Now I'll need to trigger my webhook request once again to inspect what will happen with the verification check in place. So to do that, I'm just going to go to the event page and click the retry button. Just going to retry the webhook. As you can see, event is queued for retry. If we scroll down to the attempt section, we see the second attempt. And as you can see, we now have a 500 error. If I click that status, we see a message here that says that request body digest, this value did not match the one that is being sent by Shopify. Meaning that we're currently failing the authentication check. Now that's is not a mystery because if you scroll up here, you'll see that I'm currently using a placeholder for the secret key. This secret key is required for you to verify your webhook payload. This secret key along with the HMARC algorithm is used to calculate the signature that is being sent in this header. So what happens when you receive a webhook, you take this secret key, the same secret key that Shopify used to calculate the signature and you use it to compute the same signature as it has been done here and then compare the one that is being sent in the header with the one that you just calculated. If you get a match, then your webhooks are originating from Shopify. If you don't get a match, then the payload has been tampered with. So how do we get this secret key? How do we get this secret key and ensure that we are using the right secret key to compute our signature? To do that, in the previous video, we created a Shopify app Shopify private app. So I'm on the apps page. I'm going to create, I'm going to click manage private apps rather and go to my app. Click on purchase API logger. That's my app. And I'm going to scroll down. And this is the key that you need to verify your webhooks. As you can see, secrets are used to validate the integrity of webhooks. So one thing to note before we proceed is that if you're using the Shopify admin to create your webhooks, this is the token that you would need. This is the secret rather that you will need to verify your webhooks. You'll find the secret here in your Shopify admin under the webhook section that's under your listed webhooks. You find the secret here. It says all your webhooks will be signed with this secret so you can verify their integrity. So if you are using the Shopify admin to set up webhooks, this is the secret you're going to use. But if you're using the Shopify API, you will need to create an app and get the secret from the app. So this is going to be the shared secret to validate your webhooks. So I'm just going to copy that and go to my code. I replace this placeholder with the right value. So I'm going to save that. Once again, I'll go to my server, shut it down and boot it back up. Good. Now that my server is running once again, I can go back to the event page and 
we try for another attempt. As you can see, the attempt is loading. Loading, loading, and now we pass. Now we have a 201 status code and our webbook is successfully logged.